carbon has an atomic number of 6 and a mass number of 12. The atomic mass represents the number of protons plus neutrons. And the atomic number is just the number of protons. And this is actually how the periodic table is structured according to the number of protons of the elements. Mm -hmm. From 1 to well over 100. So if we wanted to determine the number of neutrons, how would we do that? So to do the calculation, we could show an equation, or you could just think about it. The number of neutrons equals the mass number minus the atomic number. So when we do that, we could see we'll have 6. Is the number of neutrons always equal to the number of protons? No. No. It just turns out in this case, it is. it's a coincidence. It's not like that in all cases. So the number of protons is not always equal to the number of neutrons. That's just a coincidence in this case. Mm -hmm.